And we're back. And we're back. And we're back with Wes Mac. Um, Mac. Welcome, Wes. Welcome to man. Kissing Country. Last time you and I got to talk was when you were randomly in the Power Rangers movie. Yeah. And you called me one day. You're like, hey, I'm in a movie that's out tomorrow. <laughs> like, oh, cool. I, it, was, it was a little last second. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I was glad to chat with you about it. Man, man but you and I, because we kind of grew up as, as 90s kids together. Totally. What a... Awesome throwback because you and I probably grew up watching that show every oh, day after school, yeah. right? Seriously, every day. And like then there you are on the big screen in a Power Rangers movie, dude. Shooting it, uh, some of the cast is is like younger kind of thing, so they didn't grow up watching it. And I they don't remember the moment the White Ranger came in and everybody freaked out. Or when, or when the Zords died. Like <laughs> but seriously, at some point the director mentions the Zords uh, like casually, and one of the like other actors on it goes like. What do you mean by that? And I was like, oh, okay, I've okay, got this. all right. There's the pterodactyls <laughs> up there. We got a mastodon coming through over here. Tyrannosaurus. It's gonna be great. They're Did all gonna go like together. Grandpa on set like telling I stories to yeah, the kids. Like, yeah. When I was your but age. I, like, and I had to walk a fine line there because I do feel like that, but also I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> so no. I'm like, no, no, no. This is the coolest thing that ever happened. That but that holds up. One of my favorite things about you is because every time I see you, you got something new on the go, whether it's you releasing a brand new album or you're in a movie or you're. You're just all kind of all over the place. A and busy guy. Lately, it's just writing music like crazy because you got something new coming for us in 2018. Yeah. yeah so I mean, uh, uh, the same time I was working on Power Rangers and everything, and really just for the last year and a half, I've written. I think I wrote, like I said, like 50 or 60 songs. I recorded. I think 36 was the number of like demos and picked. You know, the two that I wanted to lead off with, and then the one that's the first single. So it was a big process. But is that is that something, so in my downtime when I'm bored, I play video games. Nice. So is that something where your downtime is spent just creatively just writing things on paper? Or uh, it it's more when I find you get the most ideas when you're way too busy for them kind of thing. Sure. If, if, like, when you don't have any mental space left for it and you're really tired or something, that's when you get cool ideas. You're like, no brain, I'm trying to sleep. Yeah, I yeah. need sleep today. Yeah. And your brain's just going. But you jot those down, and then later you turn them into songs, and I served them up here. And Hi, do you like these? Hi. Yeah. So yeah. turning it from, I mean, so you wrote 60, and maybe one day you'll come back to some of those that did Yeah, didn't. I mean, a, a lot of those will still probably, you know, a, a bunch of those will make it onto the record. Um, some of them won't. Some of them, you know, maybe might be right for other artists to use at some point. But I have, like, a hard time ever being like, okay, I'm done with that one because it's like giving away one of your children. You well know, that, even if it's a thing. song, you're like, I'm probably never going to record that, but I'm never going to show it to anyone in case I ever want to. It's uh, your own creative thoughts yeah. on, a, on a page, and obviously it meant something to you because you wrote it down, you worked on it, you put pen to paper totally. or keys to as you do tabs with, or yeah, whatever you, it is. You I don't press know if buttons, you pull levers. But th it's really complicated. So how do, you, how do you cut that down? Is it something that you and your team works on, or do you personally look at them and say, I think it's these 36 that I should record? It's, it's a mix of, like, I, I have a lot of people in my life that I trust, um, and I'll bounce Who's one some. person right off your, like, is it somebody in your family, somebody in your team, somebody that you've known for years? Trust that. He's right over there. Uh, uh, my, my, my guitar player, uh, Ryan, he'll get a bunch of my demos oftentimes sent to him. Um, there's a bunch of people, and you know, I bounce different songs off of different people. Like, I have one buddy of mine that I went to school with, and he's not in the music world at all, but I just like his taste opinions. Like, he, in my opinion, just has always had really good ears. So, he's like an engineer who works in Calgary, and I will send him a bunch of songs, be like, I want your opinions, and then I'll also send those same ones to like, you know, someone who's a hardcore music fan. I just want, di sometimes you want different opinions because you get so close to it. Yeah, uh, and I mean, those are the people that the engineer in Calgary is going to be listening to that song yeah, when, when and if you release it, right? Totally, so totally. You want somebody that's out of the world that is going to just hear it on, on Kissing Country one day and say, this is how I would feel about that if I heard yeah, it. Yeah, and then at the end of the day, it's my call. It's like it's what feels close to my heart kind of thing ends up probably making it through. Um, yeah, like, yeah, unless absolutely everyone else says <laughs> it's a disaster, and <laughs> no, even then... Do not do this. Yeah. Like, ah, okay. Yeah. yeah, man, the lyric is the word corn a hundred times. A lot, a lot of corn songs, though. It's a great song. You know? So when you when you whittle it down, and you, so you have 36 that you record, but then only, I mean, 10% of those are going to actually make it to an album, right? Yeah. So again, that's another hard cutting process. Oh, totally. And I mean, once you've put all the time into not just writing them, but like recording versions of them, like the demos that we record aren't like just a guitar and some drums or something. It's usually they're quite full. Like they, a lot of the demos sound really close to being like ready to go on radio. So what's uh, how did you pick the first single that we're going to hear early in 2018? That was, for me, it was like honestly like the day I wrote it, I was pretty sure that it was like it was going to go all the way through kind of thing. Take me through that day. So you wake up and are, are you going to write songs that day? Is that on your plan or? Interesting, that one, I was out in, it was kind of cool. I, uh, a lot of the songs I wrote 
in that batch. I was down in Nashville. I did a couple of writing trips. But the first two singles were both written in Canada with all Canadian guys and produced all in Canada. That's I awesome. was I was really stoked because they're go those are going toe to toe with songs written with like Nashville like A list songwriters uh, uh, and a lot of those songs are great too. But I, I was I personally like if it could all be Canadian, I'd be super proud of it. I mean, yeah, yeah, you got the denim the uh, Canadian yeah, tuxedo yeah, on well today. Uh, I feel like we're O Canada, yeah, it's so like well ventilated. Too. <laughs> yeah. it's, but it, it was something that where you had planned to go write music. Yeah, that day. so it wasn't so just you were driving down the road and saw a deer and were like, I'm gonna write a song. No, about that. although that ha that happens, but like, I, yeah, I was supposed to write there. It was it was a couple of guys. Um, I'd never written with either of them before, but had like met them a handful of times, at least talked about it, and like came on down. Uh, one of the dudes in the right walked in and happened to say the phrase like, "Oh yeah, we get along like a house on fire," which is really like a strange, it's like it's it's like a really old timey kind of like almost southerny phrase that like I've yeah. heard it before, but it's not something that you're just normally like. I don't walk in like. <laughs> Hey! Craig, boy, we get along like a house on fire. But it's also but one of those things that you hear all the time, yeah. and you never really understand it. You're like, why would you want to get along with like a house I on fire? I know. That makes it no sense. If you look up the dictionary definition, it's just getting along very well. Okay, you know, it's sure. having a great time. So I wrote it about like the most outrageous house party I'd ever attended. <laughs> Is it high school? Yeah, it was a high school. Oh, it's always party. high school. It's gotta be a high school. House and party. it's probably somebody you didn't even know. No, actually, this one was, a one, it was my one friend was like the house party place, and this was like the beginning of an era of house parties, and this one was just insane. And like, it had like a supernatural feel to it because at the end of the party at like 3 a.m. the Northern Lights came out. Cool. Um, which I don't know, you guys probably get them a little more up here in Calgary. It's a little more yep. sparse, uh, but we, we got them that night. And we all, like, I don't know, seven or eight of us ended up climbing up on the roof and just, like, lying on the roof and watching them. And that was, like, the end of this, like, crazy party that had been, like, all over the place. So I don't know. It, it always stuck in my memory. What's this guy's name? Uh, Moshin is my buddy. Does, does Moshin's parents know about these epic house parties that were – did he have the cool um, parents or did he have the parents that traveled a lot? His, uh, his, his mom, uh, uh, who has passed away now, uh, w w but, like, was everyone's secondary mom. And she oh was just, yeah. like, the coolest, like, she would – like the house parties were always there. She'd she'd come around in the morning and like have like Advil and like <laughs> and like I remember one time I came around with Advil and Listerine pocket packs for everybody. You guys and stink and you look a little. Yeah, it was just like oh, I, thank you, Haley. You are the best. That is uh, so cool because we all had that one friend, that one house that was always yeah. sort of the place to either hang or that was the epic. House yeah, party super house. super cool parents on that one. Yeah. So, so we got that song. What's the name of the song? House on fire. Yeah, house on fire. You're gonna play it for us in a little bit. Um, I also want to talk to you a little bit about the holidays. So. Are you going to be in Calgary for holidays with family, or where are you going to be? Yeah, it's going to be a mix. I uh, spent some time in Calgary with my family there. My uh, my girlfriend's got family out in uh, London, Ontario, so I'm going to swing out there and, like, hang out. Uh, I think I'll actually uh, – it's, like, yeah, it's sort of a mixed bag of Christmas kind of thing. I'll be on the Alberta side, though, for actual, like, Christmas Day. It's hard, though, right, when you get into a, a relationship, especially when the families are in different places – how do you divide your time where you're not making people mad? Yeah, I mean, fortunately, we both have super cool families, and it, like, has been really easy on that. But, yeah, it, it's, like, you just want to make sure you see everybody. But How like long have you guys been together? Uh, four years. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah, After yeah. four years, do you still have really good ideas on what together for Christmas? Or oh, yeah. Or are you struggling? Yeah, no, it's, it's still, like, it's really easy. Uh, you, do, you, do you want the yeah, she's got she's got, a, she's got a list. She's, she's oh, you just go off a list. No, I, I play the list. I think the list is the way to do that kind of thing, and that's the, the way everyone, like, it's it's a good idea, and I appreciate I don't feel at all, and un, un, I usually add a few clever little things along the way, but you got to play the list. That is coming from a man who's learned, though. You can tell oh, yeah. if when you go off the list and you try to be a well, little Well, when secretive. there is a list and you go off the list, if there's no list, then you got to go off the list. Yep. But if there's a list and you go off the list, who knows? I mean, at that point, you're into uncharted water. Reaction is always one of these like, oh, interesting. I, I love what's, it. What's your policy on the list? I hate the list. You don't like the I list? I hate the list. I hate gift cards and I hate any kind of, I don't know you very well. Here's like some, you can go okay. buy yourself something. So I don't like the list. I always try to be as creative as possible, and it blows up in my face. It's either a strikeout or a home run. See, I, I always like to mix. I like to have one creative element and then play the list. So it's yeah. like you're for sure you're already, you're already great. Uh, and I like to do that with anybody. Like I, I at this point, like my, my parents, my good friends, I ask everybody, just like, give me a list, and then I will try and do an element that like I've thought of. And so a little Wes in the list. A little bit of Wes, right. a little bit, little bit of the list. So like no matter what, even if you totally blow it and you're like, I got you a deer horn that's wrapped in <laughs> cheese. I saw a Cracker Bell, and, <laughs> and it seems great. Uh, uh, and they're like, but you also got me this off the list. <laughs> like, all right, I can throw this out. I do come by it naturally, though, because I was talking to my grandpa uh, last weekend, and we're doing sort of that family secret Santa where one person gets somebody's name, and you don't have to buy for the 12 cousins uh, okay, that way. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. My brother's got my grandpa, and I was like, hey, do you have any ideas on what Brad can get you? And he looks at me, and he's like, 
I'm not going to tell you. Christmas is supposed to be a surprise. Oh. <laughs> I was like, okay. Okay, so yours is, yours is Cloak and Dagger. Our, yeah, my family is very like, yep, here's what I want. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I've always been happy. It makes it that. a lot more stressful, though. You go to the mall, and you're just like, I'm going to go into every store, and I hope I get a little See, inspiration. See, I like watching guys like you. Uh, it's so one of my favorite things to do at the mall is like once I've bought 95% of the things that I need, my Christmas is pretty much sealed up. I'm just there cruising around, and I like to watch the frantic shopper <laughs> who goes into a store <laughs> and picks something up and goes like, this is an item. I can give this to someone. Sweaters. And people wear like sweaters, right? But, but it's even weirder. It's when you get into like an odd pottery kind of thing, and you're like, this is made of ceramics, and I don't know what its function is, <laughs> but I could certainly give it to Aunt Penelope, and she might. Like but it's always it the same, like, stressed Yeah, eyes and it's, and it's, it's the deer in headlights holding look. Holding his jacket and still sweaty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, totally. Too hot. Yeah, yeah. I, I've, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to be watching that So a little sure. Calgary, a little Ontario, yeah. and brand new music coming in 2018. Do is there a, there's a full project coming that yeah. we get to? full project, and there'll be a music video following this that I just finished directing. Uh, like a couple days ago, I did the, the coloring and editing and stuff for it, so it's like it's done. It's sealed up. Uh, um, I, I know you're going to perform your brand new single for us, and I'm super excited to hear it because I always love hearing new music. Thank you. But after that, I have a surprise for you because being an ultimate 90s kid like I am, um, you're going to come with me and I have a, a little 90s surprise that uh, mm, that's we're going to have favorite. on our Facebook page that's for you, okay? 90s surprise is my favorite. <laughs> awesome, buddy. Okay, well, we're All still right, live. Here we go, 90s surprise list. <laughs> um, so I don't need my like, phone all the way up. Nope. Are we live? Yeah, we're still live. Are we live on Facebook? Yeah. Oh, well, come on. Okay, so here's the thing. Yesterday we were talking a little bit. So yesterday, walk and talk. It's the, like the West thing walk, or something. Yeah, don't walk unnatural. This is how natural people walk. So yesterday I'm filling in for Chris in the morning show, and Jack and Matt and I were talking about that toy that everybody had to have. Like the the hot toy when you were a kid was what? Do you remember? Like you couldn't get it at Zellers. Yep. Nobody had it in stock. Parents were lying. I remember a few of those. So which one do you remember? Like what pops into your brain? I I never had one, but I remember both the Tickle Me Elmo and the Furby as mm -hmm. like big. They're huge. Like people wanting to murder each other in stores for them. Um, and the lineups and the, like the hysteria was insane. And yeah. If you got a Furby, you could sell it for. Oh, I remember the Furby dollars. prices were nuts, and then yeah. like a week after, people were like, "What are you gonna do with Furby?" <laughs> yeah, and, and then you finally get it, and you play with it for a minute. Well, that was that was actually really terrible. I don't yeah. know why. We're doing I don't that. recall enjoying the Furby very much, but I just remember the hype. So I got a Tickle Me Elmo I, about a year after it was cool, but I was also way too, I was 13 when I got it okay. from my Aunt Wendy, <laughs> and it was so, so you're the awkward. perfect age for it. I was like, what? Well, do you know what my friends are going to say if they come into my room and I have a Tickle Me Elmo on my bed? Can you say it? It's not okay. Oh boy, that tickles. But in this conversation, say hi to Scotty, everybody. Hi. Hi. In this conversation, Pogs got brought up. No way. Yeah! <laughs> Okay, I was hoping, like, when you said 90s thing, in my brain, the first thing I went to is Pogs, I'm like, but there's no way it's going to be Pogs. Yeah. I still have all of my Pogs, man. So, oh my god. So here's the question, though, Wes. How many of other people's Pogs do you have? Oh, we, you know you are we playing? Games, right? we're, we're playing. Like, do we have Metal Slammers here? Yeah, yeah. We'll see on okay, this. so, by the way, Holy you can crap. come anytime and play some Pogs, because now we have Pogs here. And the, the best is, do you remember the, like, the, the tubes, the tubes were key for Pogs. Oh, absolutely. Chelsea, not. that's filming right now. Do you know Pogs at all? I have no idea what and that this makes me is. So oh man, old. he's got banned at my school, and I remember it was like if they saw you playing, like if you if you get like one of these sticking out of your pockets, teachers would be like, I hope you're not playing for keeps. That was uh, contraband, right? It was and then it was parking lot Pogs after that. Oh, I know was it ever? Or okay. you had to say like, oh no, we're just playing for fun. <laughs> but check this out, because I know you had this slammer, because everybody did. Everybody had that. I don't slammer. know if I had this one, dude. Man, this I was got... the slammer of slammers. Do you remember the Bigfoot? Do you remember the Bigfoot? I had a few that were like. I always <laughs> remember having the metal one, and it would like. Okay, because I think the rule is, if you flip the whole stack, it doesn't count. Oh yeah, it does. I, I the way we played it, because with a metal slammer, you could do it every time. Here you we had go. To flip all but one. House rules. It was like, yeah, house yeah, yeah, rules. House rules. Flip the whole stack. So this is probably the metal one you're thinking of, because feel how heavy that is. Oh, oh, dude, I, yeah, there's, there's a few like this. There's a few that were just like, they were bad because if you played them on a countertop at your friend's <laughs> house, it was just like, oh, there's a hole in your counter yeah. now. Um, Chelsea, I can't believe you've never, I, have you even seen Pogs before? No. I literally had to explain Pogs to someone the other day. That's so And I was depressing. like, okay, uh, like milk caps, and but, but also no one's ever seen milk caps. So like, just imagine these little two remember this one? Oh, yeah, yeah, all the stuff. That, like, everybody knows the pirate one. Yeah, yeah, I had that one for sure. Like, I'm so blown away right now. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, look at the Florida Panthers! I know. That's probably oh, the dude, inaugural all these, season. All the actual, I'm like, the that one. Pog Federation. My, this one, 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 one too. Did you have this one? Oh, we had this one. I think I had that one. Did you have one. this one? I had this one. 
Oh, these were so cool. So I remember one of the most epic Christmas presents I ever got. Oh, and it was more of the wrapping that went around it. My brother had this giant box from me under the tree, and I was about eight, and he was 12. And I opened the box, and there's another box inside, and another box, and another box. And eventually he gets down, and it's just a small slammer that he got me. And it was the coolest thing. It was like, it was like a, a Ninja Star slammer. Remember those? Yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah. was fantastic. I was seriously thinking about, for next summer, getting these as like a merch item, like a West Mac, oh, hey, like oh, West Mac that, Alex. Would you buy um, West Mac Pogs? Because I would. <laughs> but people would be confused. <laughs> and it would be me at the merch table being like, guys, the year is 1993. <laughs> no, the movie is people have to play you to win. Oh, one. That's they the move, can't get, right? that's great. Right? You can bring people on stage and just have like, guys, we're going to do a bit. And no one's gonna understand or be able to see it beyond the second row. No, no mercy. mercy. No mercy. I mean, like, can I just like okay. one of these? I just, oh, oh, it's hard. I gotta, I gotta get my game back. Come on, Steph. It's been a while. I don't want. I just. Are those okay. pogs? Yeah. 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 <laughs> she doesn't know what pogs are. So what? Like, uh, uh, sorry. I, I have no oh idea. Like, come on, oh, guys. Man. So, if I remember correctly, you stack ten. I, I never knew what the number. I, was I, there I was, rules to this? Well, to, I mean, I remember. To me, I always thought I never knew there was a number. Or was it I just whatever it was, came like, in the two? Stack. Yeah, it was whatever was in the two. But I always thought if you flipped all of them, you didn't get it. But if we're playing house rules, let's try and flip that whole stack. We can make up 2017 body. rules because nobody stack. remembers the rules it's from true. 1994. It's true. It's very true. <laughs> a lot of people were being born that year. This is how I met my best friend. Um, our brother, Thank older you brothers. Thank you for calling me your best friend. You're welcome. Our older brothers played hockey together, and I would always have to sit there and be bored. And so there was a group of us younger brothers that would sit in the common area of the YMCA and play pogs. And my best friend Chris awesome. Anderson, we met at like six, he would always win and steal my pogs. He says he won them fair and square, but I said steal. <laughs> <laughs> He's still bitter about it, too. Oh, the yin-yang yin-yangs were oh, big in the yeah, mid-90s. Yeah, were they ever? <laughs> you yeah, I had a few of them, yeah, yeah. Okay, I actually so had good. a slammer, much like this, a little. Yeah, I was saying I had. I, had I like the. It was solid. The metal ones were like almost unplayable, and that like they were so good. Like but yeah. they would they would cause like I was saying they, like if you played on your friends like counter up or damage it. Oh, badly. definitely can't do that. Like, definitely can't do have, that. You know these ones were a big deal because they're individually preserved. Yeah. It's amazing like, the amount where did of these. You, are these yours? No, no. This, like, we had an amazing listener that when we were chatting about this yesterday, she's like, I still have my son's paws. I can give them to you. Holy what? So smokes. thank you so much because this is going to provide amazing. endless entertainment. Of course, I'm saying that I'm giving away. I'm almost I'd certainly be mad next at my summer mother. doing. Uh, this is prior to this. <laughs> I was going to do like West Mac Pogs as like a merch item or something. Yes. Uh, but I was I was contemplating the idea that no one would understand. What they are. <laughs> All right, okay. half of you guys. Exactly. So, How old are you? I'll need, you? A, power, I'll need a PowerPoint presentation yeah. or something. Because Scotty, do you have to do radio things before we start playing? In a minute. Okay. You got time. <laughs> you got if you can't win some okay. in a minute, then you so got somebody hit that pile. This is the first step. It's it's Steph versus Wes. Okay. Oh. Choose your slammer wisely. Okay. Do you remember how to play Steph? Oh, it's been a very long time. So <laughs> good about the poison. Is this the slammer pile? I think so. Okay. I'll take this purple one. Mm, no mercy. That was another good like, thing to say. <laughs> or no fear was great. Yeah, absolutely. Gotta have your no fear okay. t-shirt. You're going first. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> I've lost my touch. Right, here we go. Oh, oh God. Oh, okay, hold on. Disaster. Hang on. I feel like we only got one. So I think there's only one. one. I think there's only one flipped. It flipped so, off the table. Does that count? It does uh, count because okay. we have a All small right. table. Right. Like, you, should you, you should be playing. Can we explain this? Because yes. like, oh, yeah. personally, <laughs> I have no so, idea what's going we're on. We're going to take you through it. Uh, in Pog, it's very complicated. <laughs> in you, the world of Pog. You take your milk caps, which have been, you know, there's cool decorations and stuff on them. You put them in a stack. Hold on. Explanation has to wait because Scotty has to do radio <laughs> things. Oh. Welcome to live radio. <laughs> no pressure. No, Scotty. this is incredibly distracting. <laughs> <all right. laughs> There's Keith Urban's beautiful new song, Female on Kissing Country. I'm Scotty. We've got some special guests in studio right now. What you need to do is head over to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash kissing country. Greg, Steph, I, and our uh, lovely guest, Wes Mack, are throwing it back, playing some pogs for keeps right now. So again, over on our Facebook page, check that out. Justin Moore now, here's somebody else will on yes. Kissing Country. All right, back so, to gaming. So I have one, so I have one. So you, you gotta you get a picture one of this, pog. and we're all yeah. Okay, we're right. in the same pile, right? Yeah, same pile. We, okay, we, we, can, we can clean the playing field up here a little. Okay. Straighten up. I mean, this is official. This you need a okay. clean pog surface, you guys. I didn't do my pre-pog stretches today. Neither did I. Okay. I haven't done yeah. them since 1996. I have. Yeah, yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. That's what Scott was saying. You can't just give away pogs, but we just got some. Christmas. Okay, ready? Away. One, two, three. 
Oh, that was a good oh, no, no, no flip. No flipsies. No flip. So we restack. So to finish the rest of the explanation, you have to flip them over. And as you flip them, if they land upside down, I get to keep them. Get to keep them. And so this is when you play for keeps, and you do this in the schoolyard, and it gets pretty rough. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of friendships were ended over this. Things okay. get crazy. Right, we're coming in hot with the poison. Oh, buddy. Oh, only one. Once You're a again. good flipper. Uh, I don't know if I'm that good. I don't I mean, know. We're, we're at okay, hold on. Oh, we got a Power Rangers one in here. There's another purple slammer. Pretty topical. Uh, Sumo Pog. Sumo uh, Pog is going to win me some. Fun fact, Wes still remembers his game because you have to hit the edges. And I saw you aim for the edge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the trick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, okay, you know, it's come on, Sumo Pog. Oh! oh! Good what did she get? Good yeah. I got one. Got one. I got one. I think it looked bigger than. <laughs> All right, I'm switching. I'm going oh, up to a heavier thing. slammer. Oh, you, you can't. Hey, by the way, you can't switch slammers mid pog. I think I, oh, think I, I lost did. my original slammer. We both uh, did. Okay. Well, That's fine. We got a lot of dogs <laughs> that hang out around here. That's not good for their tummies. Well, they're gonna be. A <laughs> they're just gonna play pog really well. All right, here we go. Coming in hot. The purple one's good. Oh, oh no! Not a lot of okay. weight to that. I know slammer. it's really light. I know I missed the metal okay. ones. The metal, metal one is <laughs> like it does all the work. So <laughs> these bigger ones are called slammers. Oh, this yeah, is what you to. have to use to flip the pogs. And they used to have metal ones, which were awesome. And what's the policy? Can you put a second finger? No, on no, no, no. It has to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. I feel like you I'm representing a large no. portion oh, you of. Can hammer down. No, that's too. That's, that's such a cheater. I think it's that you got to flip it, and it's all the it's the centripetal motion. Yeah, yeah. It's very scientific. Scotty, I want to play. Some All right, I'm coming in hot with the metal. Okay. Itchy. All right, itchy. Okay, one do more I, turn each. Do I, do I have to sign off that like if this destroys all of the yeah. computer equipment? If everything you signed a waiver when you came <laughs> in, right? Yeah. If yeah. this country breaks, it's Wes's fault. <laughs> Goodbye, kiss it. Oh. You know what? what? I don't even know what if I got. Did I get good? one? I, I have no idea. I can't but, do a video replay. I don't want to throw it down. This not on the floor is like is a rock. Yeah, It'll actually blow a hole in the table. Okay. I'm gonna try and flip these. Right. Last turn. All right. For the win. Whoa! Oh, she oh, it. Boom! I want redemption. Oh, Three man. pogs. Three pogs. All right. So I would say step one. Creepy clown too. Although arguably, <laughs> that's arguably, my third one. I think I had three in total, but I mean I don't know. I don't know. This isn't the Chinese. CFL. We can't go to replays. <laughs> Every down. Okay, Greg and Scotty. All right. All right. Okay. You guys going in here? Real quick. I haven't pogged in forever, so. God, this is such a so many bad. memories. I had so many of these. I love it. I'm gonna show it's you the weird yoga because it's like it. it's like when you return to a sport that you played as a child that you were good at. Yeah. Like I remember the first time I went back and played hockey after years of not so being on terrible. the ice, and you see like there's the puck in the corner. I can get there in about six <laughs> seconds and and still have that like air in me. And you're like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing here, man. Same thing. The athleticism. Um, is just the like, thing is, th there's finger grooves on some of the oh, back of these, yeah. and they're meant for children. So, trying to. Readjust. Okay, nice. who's up first? You go. Really? Yeah, we took over your show. Which is also nice. <laughs> oh, he's got the hammer down. Oh. Wait, did you do it this way? Yes. What? That's the, oh, oh, I don't know. Oh, I, you know, I don't want to weigh in hey, here. Hey, it <laughs> obviously worked incredibly well. <laughs> <laughs> have you pogged before? I've pogged before. <laughs> this is not an official pog, pog playing bro? service, first of all. <laughs> There's a whole pog arena. Whoa! Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, you okay. said we couldn't slam down. <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, I said you can't do your thumb like buddy. that. You just blew this one boom, open. Boom, Holy boom, crap. boom, boom, boom. Ooh, that's that was, a goosebumps that one. That was massive. Did you really? I love goosebumps. I wonder how much. Were you practicing this? I can't say for sure. I actually yeah. got this for I'm officially <laughs> embarrassed. <laughs> Man, so am I. Wow. I can't Oh, and there's real. another one. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, I'll Dude. stop, Scotty. I'll stop. Dude. You can, I don't know if you can come back on that. I gotta go with the river stone to flip the rest of it. Just go for it. This is as heavy as my first car. Oh, he got no. a couple. He does it in such a weird way. That was a tongue out. That's that's why tongue was hanging out. That's four. I've never seen somebody drop like yeah. that. Yeah, he drops the hammer. This, it, this is it. this is prison rules where we play. Not sure oh, that's man. allowed. <laughs> but that's I mean whatever I guess. Oh! oh Where is this coming from? You got the grooves in there, man. I don't know yeah. if you knew the Greg Reynolds of Hawkwood Elementary, but he was the Pog <laughs> champion. Holy smokes. <laughs> hold on, hold on, that was in the pile. See, I really don't want to send this through the table, though. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, but that's the thing. Like, you don't want to throw that one as hard as you need to. But the metal ones. Guys, that's why you use this this beach one. Okay. The Bigfoot was the best. I don't know if you can come back. No, did. no, I'm done. I'm finished. Oh no, I missed. Oh, is that like an air ball? And What's Greg that? broke kissing. And Greg, and then kissing country was broken. I mean, if it's gonna go out in any way, it may that's as well. the way to do it. <laughs> Look at the stand. Maybe, up. maybe the eight ball will be lucky for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight ball corner pocket. Nope. 
It's uh, Chelsea. Do you want to throw your first ever pog? Okay. Yeah, I, I can hold it. Okay. okay, but let's get a fair stack. <laughs> yeah. I okay, but I, I'm, I'm watching. Watch I'm mainly just watching like the video. I'm not watching the here the technique. Okay, so good thing these are kid hands because I'm. Yeah, not exactly. Like, you're set. You're perfect for it. Okay, wait. So you just. So you want to like get the, the idea is that like you can't in theory as far as I knew you can't put your thumb on. No, you can't. You're supposed to flip it like this, exactly like right. down, like exactly. Uh, on, and you want to hit usually on like the edge. Although I played terribly, so maybe you don't want to listen. Hey, uh, <laughs> um, okay, Greg, can I have some advice? Yeah, yeah. yeah. ask this Greg. This guy was lighting it up here. So we'll need you to train seven days a week. Oh God, <laughs> it's actually a team thing. <laughs> You're like the Conor so just McDavid, David Pollock for the edge team. Honestly. <laughs> honestly. How many people are playing Pog in 2017? Whoa! Oh, oh my god! Nice. Can I be on the team? Yes, yeah, sure yeah, can. Yes! <laughs> Two over here. Heck yeah! That was a, Look at him! My goodness! Wow! That slammer as well, I'm feeling hey, I'm, really I'm, I'm about that. It's the slammer beach slammer. <laughs> nice work. <laughs> Thank you. Up? By the way, when it's meant for kid hands and you give it to Chelsea, she's just writing it. Yeah. 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 I it's like... Fit well, well let's do a hand test. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's a small yeah. discrepancy. So, uh, that's Pogs at Kissing Country. We'll do this more. Thank you for being our inaugural Pogger. Dude, I will... Do I have to leave? No, you don't. <laughs> We're gonna keep playing. Hey, show us a good one before you're oh, gone. Man. One more. But now I'm gonna blow I already again. went, okay. so this is awkward. Oh. Hey! Oh! Hey! Oh! Hey! 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 Dude, that slammer. That it's slammer. That. I'm telling you that. All right, I'm, uh, I'm trying to get an endorsement. <laughs> Big book slammers. All right, if anyone in 1996 is watching, uh, <laughs> my name is Wes Mack. Oh, I'm a super gosh. hot pog player. By the way, we're not just playing pogs with Wes. He's got a new song coming out in January. So. Oh yeah, that's that's true. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> pog man. Thanks for hanging out. If you want to come play pogs, let us know.